Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you 5 ways to boost your human growth hormone levels naturally. Let's get started. Growth hormone is also known as somatotropin. It's a small protein that is made by the pituitary gland and secreted into the bloodstream. And I can tell you that it's a good predictor of overall health. Because optimal growth hormone levels are vital during recovery, training, and weight loss. Growth hormone has an extension called insulin-like growth factor. Growth hormone stimulates the production of insulin-like growth factor in the liver and other organs. This acts on tissues in the body to control metabolism and growth. And stress and estrogen are decreasing the levels of insulin-like growth factor and affecting the metabolism and growth. Growth hormone has been associated with potential benefits, for example, weight loss, because growth hormone stimulates lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fatty acids in fat tissue, those with higher levels of belly fat will likely have impaired human growth hormone production and an increased risk of disease. At the beginning of the video, I told you that growth hormone is a good predictor of overall health and the low levels of growth hormone is associated with increased risk of disease. Growth hormone also helps you to gain muscle mass and helps your bones. It has anti-aging properties. It protects your organs from age-related depreciation. Also, it promotes rapid hair and nail growth. Low human growth hormone levels point to an increased risk of disease and unhealthy weight gain because Human growth hormone helps to maintain, build, and repair healthy tissue in the brain and other organs. And now I'm going to tell you some symptoms or signs of growth hormone deficiency in adults. The first sign is anxiety and or depression. You can see boldness in males, decrease in sexual function and interest. Decrease muscle mass, strength, difficult to concentration and lack of memory, dry, thin skin, diminish bone density with higher likelihood of suffering bone fractures, and lastly, greater sensitivity to extreme cold and heat. Of course, you can get growth hormone synthetically, but it has several side effects. For example, carpal tunnel syndrome, joint pain, edema. Edema means swelling of various body parts, insulin resistance. Because growth hormone is naturally synthesized in our body, we can influence its production. Now I'm going to tell you five natural ways to boost your human growth hormone levels. We talked about importance. Now let's talk about how we can boost it. The first step is reducing your sugar intake. Studies show that high insulin levels tend to cause a drop in human growth hormone production. You should remember this. Higher insulin means low levels of growth hormone generally. Both sugar and refined carbs cause your insulin levels to rise. Reducing your consumption of these foods can set the stage for improved growth hormone levels. You should decrease your consumption of sugar and refined carbs. The second thing is exercise especially high intensity exercise increases human growth hormone the most but all forms of exercise are beneficial you can perform repeated sprints interval training weight training or circuit training to spike your human growth hormone levels 
and maximize your fat loss. The third and probably the most important thing is sleeping. Human growth hormone levels are the highest when you sleep, but they are greatly influenced by your sleep cycles. Research has shown that growth hormone levels begin to increase after about an hour of sleep. And increasing your arginine intake is also helpful for the synthesis of growth hormone because arginine is one of the amino acids that improves the synthesis of growth hormone. You can get it from dairy, red meat, and brown rice, but pumpkin seeds are especially important. And last tip that I'm going to give you is intermittent fasting. As we said earlier, low levels of insulin is related to higher levels of growth hormone. Fasting keeps your blood sugar and insulin levels low. As a result, instead of burning glucose, you start burning fat. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. See you on the next video.